tires there just just because we're not doing nothing with it you guys don't need to know we just have it there just just because I need to spin this around I think of the leverage on the end of this thing Why are we taking this? 
this woods out? What's our reasoning? Uh, so this has been a, I think about three or four year project really. We started this back in 2016 or 17. My grandma's farmhouse is back over that way where she grew up and this is my grandma's farm. And uh, the, there is a whole grove of pine trees around that house and the guy that currently lives there now uh, wanted those pine trees gone and I think that was like 2016 or 17 that we had the excavator down here first and uh, we took those out for him and uh, we started in on this woods. This woods was about six or six to eight acres I believe and uh, originally back in the day this used to all be pastured out here. When this was no longer used for pasture this really got overgrown and uh, basically got turned into a woods basically so what we're doing is re is turning this back into uh, somewhat of farm ground really it wasn't farm ground before uh, it, like I said it was just mainly pasture uh, similar to like what that is across the uh, uh, fence over there um, but our plan is is to eventually put a three tower irrigator out here and uh, farm this all square essentially. Uh, this used to be 25 acres, uh, 25, 27 acres, and this will eventually when we completely farm this all in one then without the woods it'll be about 34 acres in here, not 35. There's a lot of young saplings out here that we have to deal with because a lot of these trees were originally here back when it was pastured, but then over time more and more trees grew up as it was not pastured no more and now today there is a boatload of smaller saplings so if we wouldn't have uh, yanked this out this would have been a really big mess of a woods and uh, like I said we are going to repurpose this into farm ground and eventually put an irrigator on this we're not tearing this out just for the fun of it we really, over time, it was just getting to be a mess. And it's just going to make farming this ground a little bit more economical as far as being able to put a pivot on this sand field. The biggest benefit is going to be having an irrigator out here. It's going to make growing corn out here a lot more economical as far as uh, the return that you're going to have out here. It's hard to push yields just due to what you can and cannot produce out here. Uh, because your biggest limiting factor on these yellow sands is water and especially in a year like this year when it doesn't rain it really makes it hard to uh, raise corn out here on these dry land sands. The biggest benefit of having a skid steer out here has been uh, being able to increase overall efficiency of uh, the excavator. Uh, Dad's not having to walk constantly back to the pile and pile stuff. Um, I'm able to grab whole trees from him and stage the trees for myself to be able to cut them up and uh, whack the tops out of them and uh, cut the stumps off and pile the logs up. Basically similar to like what I did before, but before Dad had to stage everything because I could not get up alongside him with the 4430 in years past and grab trees from him. He had to stage them for me and then I could whack the tops off and the stumps off. So. Overall, this has been a huge time saver, and uh, it's really increasing uh, how much we can get done in a day by far. When uh, he's ready for me to go up and grab the tree, he typically uh, swings it around or uh, motions me over and says, Hey, come up and grab it, and uh, then it's good to go, and uh, just like that. So now I'm ready to go up and grab it, and I can carry it over to the pile. And stage it, get it ready to be cut up. That tire is there just, just because we're not doing nothing with it. You guys don't need to know. We just have it there just, just because. spin this around. Think of the leverage on the end of this thing.
carry the logs far now. Put one more right there. Nope, 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 and... That's the only disadvantage of the skid steer. The loader, you're farther away. Dangerous work, gotta be careful. Yes, we do shake the dirt out of the stumps. I know some people actually dig a hole and bury them. We'll shake the dirt out of them and we'll pile them up on top in the evening or before we go to lunch and burn them down. And uh, sometimes we'll uh, rake them out of the pile first thing in the morning and uh, pile them on later in the day, but we will burn all the stumps. Nice thing with this grapple, it's kind of like, well, how they advertise it, clutching a baseball. The way this double action cylinder works, being able to do like what you just saw there and pinch that stump down like that, unbelievable. It's awesome. Being able, like, grabbing stuff, especially like stumps or uh, scraping together uh, small scrub piles. This is an awesome grapple for what we need and, uh, a lot better than the traditional style grapples. You guys can check this grapple out at MDS Manufacturing's website. I will have them linked down below. It's called the Iron Eagle Brush Grapple. Again, I'll have that link down below for you guys so you guys can check this out if you guys are interested. It does not come with the bracing. We added that bracing. For those of you that don't know, uh, we added that and uh, we routed the hoses uh, ourselves. So uh, they did not want to sell me a hose kit. So we routed that and added the fertilizer hose for protectant for the hoses there. And uh, it's so far been uh, a really nice way that we routed the hoses to keep them it keeps them clear of all the debris, and uh, so far it's been doing a good job how we routed it. Some of you guys were wondering if I was going to put an MXT like 115 in here. Uh, what I ended up doing was there's a pouch right there, and I hung an X Talker, and Dad has an X Talker also. That's been really nice to have in the excavator and in the skid steer for communication. I'll have which model X Talker I like to use for Midland link down below, along with a promo code for 15% off any order down below for you guys. Range is decent on them. We just like to use them for short distance communication like this. We save the long distance communication for the uh, MXT 115s and the MXT 400s. Personally, I like the MXT 400s best in farm equipment, like say the semis, the combines, and the tractors. Well, I got it out of the ground, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to lift this. Uh, I can move it, but back end's lifting up. <laughs> we'll have this out of here. Oh, holy cow. Putting the skid steer to the test. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I gotta get out of these holes. Dad's probably like, what in the world is he doing? Whoa. gonna do that. Alright. Uh, let's clean this up a little bit in here.
Well, we had to knock off early. There is a hydraulic hose leaking on the excavator. And that is because it rubbed on a bracket in there and spliced a tiny little hole in it. And today's Saturday and we're not going to screw around with it tonight because by the time we get it off, the place up in Laporte that we would go to get a hose made would be closed because it's currently 412 right now and they're closed on Sunday so really there's no rush in getting it off so we'll either get it off tomorrow if it's not raining which I guess they're talking rain tomorrow or we'll get it off first thing Monday morning and start in again on this so not very much left should easily get it done by Tuesday shout out to the neighbor for putting millings in here he had some leftover millings that he wanted us to have and uh he took his tractor and loader and shoved them here and spread them out for us. So huge shout out to the neighbor for that. We really appreciate that. That really helps build up that driveway a lot better. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.